So I think sometimes because Electric Voice makes such incredible speakers, people forget they also make incredible wireless microphone systems. Today we're going to talk about the RE3 wireless system and why I think it's probably one of the best values out there for DJs, performers, musicians, and any type of mobile entertainer. So you want to come with me? You want to take a deep dive? You ready? We're going to do it right now. What's going on everybody? Justin Schwartz here, founder of the DJ's Guru, coming at you as always from the DJ's Guru studio. And today we're talking about the ElectroVoice RE3 wireless system, specifically today the ND76 6M frequency. And we'll talk about all the reasons why I love this mic and why I think it's the best value out there, or one of the best values out there, at least for under 700 bucks. Before we dive into it, I had a quick little fun fact for you. Did you know ElectroVoice actually started out as a microphone company? And the landing of the moon, Neil Armstrong's famous words were recorded on an ElectroVoice microphone. Did you know that? I bet you didn't. So in that spirit, they have continued making amazing microphones, but because they started making such amazing speakers as well, everyone kind of forgot about it. And yes, there's plenty of other players in the wireless microphone game so it's tough for electric voice sometimes to compete against companies like that so i i wanted to take an opportunity to really kind of look at this and explain to people why i think it's really a great option for you if you're a mobile entertainer if you're a dj if you're someone who is not doing heavy recording anything like that in a you know theatrical type environment private events 500 people or less this is going to be perfect for you so let's talk about some of the reasons why. Okay, so let's talk about some of the things that I love about this microphone. First of all, really, really solid, okay? It feels great in my hands. It has a great look to it. You know, the traditional microphone that you're gonna see out there has a silver mesh design head at the top. This is all black with a little bit of a silver ring. Very nice, very minimalistic. Uh, this is on right now. What I also really love about this the on off switch is like hidden down there at the bottom, which, you know, you'd wonder why did they hide it? They hid it because while you're using it, there's no potential for you to turn it off by accident. And with some of the other microphones that I have used and I own, they always put it here, you know, where you can actually hit it by accident and hit mute or whatever. So I thought that was kind of a cool thing. Um, again, feels great in my hand. Okay. So we'll look at the receiver real quickly because it's on right now. It is a UHF frequency, and this is the 6M frequency. So what is special to know about the 6M frequency? As you all know, FCC bought out a whole range of frequency ranges and disallowed wireless microphone companies to use them. So now everyone is looking for under 600. But what people may not realize is that the FCC actually set aside a very special group of higher traveling bands specifically for wireless microphone companies and wireless microphones. So the 6M frequency is actually part of this brand new um, frequency range that is sanctioned by the FCC and it is national and global. So what does that mean? It means that your 6M will work whether you're watching this from New York, California, Texas, New Hampshire, wherever it may be, you don't have to worry about what's the best frequency range for my area. The 6M is gonna work in any area you're in, in the United States, you don't have to worry about it. And what I also love about it is it's very, very easy to sync and scan. First of all, I myself don't love to have to really tweak. I like auto, I like turn on, sync, bing, bang, boom, right? So as soon as I turn this thing on, First of all, it has a beautiful LCD display here. Um, you know, it's not super bright here too, so it's like during use, you're not gonna be shining light in a dark room, you know? But this also is nice looking. As soon as I turned it on, as soon as I hit sync, it automatically synced. It did it automatically for me. And I was also able to hit the scan button here. I was able to easily find the best frequency range within the room and easily dial that in sync it up 
and I was ready to go in like a matter of seconds. So simplicity and ease of use, I think, is another thing that I really liked about this on top of other things that we're going to talk about. Okay, so some of the other things I want to point out that make this really cool You've heard of paddle antennas before, right? And what are paddle antennas? Basically, paddle antennas are usually an accessory that you'll buy to work with another wireless microphone system that essentially gives you a higher range of ability to send signal out. And it puts your, your antenna, so to speak, up higher and pushes the ability to receive the signal higher so you have better range. ElectroVoice RE3 has paddle antennas already built in which is something that you're, gonna not, you're not gonna find on a system like this. It's another added value that they basically give you. And it's another reason why I think it's a great value because it has such incredible range. So incredible, in fact, that they don't even list it. And we're gonna do a range check very shortly. I'll show you how far this thing can go. But, you know, I would say at least 200 feet, we're gonna see, you know, I wanna see how far I can go. We're gonna go down my block, <laughs> uh, but anyway, Love that. Extremely rugged metal housing, okay? And um, everything made by ElectroVoice, which is owned by Bosch, is extremely high regulated as far as quality control and just the way they make everything. In the DJ and performance industry, there's different levels of manufacturing. ElectroVoice is like the top of the chain as far as the way they handle everything, from the boxing to every single piece of every part that goes into it, they take great care in making sure that it's gonna work great. And that's why you don't see a lot of changes a lot with ElectroVoice. When you see a speaker like an Oval 50, it's probably not gonna change for 10 years because the answer is usually, what are you gonna to do to make it better? And until they were able to get some of the paddle antennas and some of the advancements on the RE3 system, RE2 was fantastic for so long. And I know when they discontinued it, people were like, calling me up saying, hey, do you have any left? Do you have any left? So we were excited to see that this came in and really continued the legacy of the ElectroVoice RE2, but made it even better. Okay, so we're gonna do our distance check now. It doesn't list the distance from what I can find, and usually it's a bad thing, but I think here it might be a good thing. Your Audio Technicas, your Shores of the World in the same price point are usually in a 300 foot range. Uh, I'm hoping that we get at least 200, 300, hopefully maybe we can get more, I don't know, but we're going to find out now. I've got our friend Dan here, he's going to be listening, I've got my camera girl here following, and it's time to do our sound check. So, here we go, and we're going to start in three, two, one. Okay, so, I'm going to walk backwards here, and I'm going to... Keep testing this microphone to make sure that it can be heard. This is a dynamic microphone, okay? Uh, what is a dynamic microphone and what makes it different from a condenser microphone, specifically a cardioid dynamic microphone, which is what this is. Can I still be heard? We're good. Right now we're at 65 feet. So a dynamic microphone and a cardioid or unidirectional microphone such as this, like the ND76 here, what it's designed to do is it's designed for DJs, MCs, anyone that is in a performance environment where they're speaking into it and they want to be heard loud. So a dynamic cardioid microphone not just hears, but it actually listens. And what it does really well compared to condenser microphones is it filters sound out. So with this specific cardioid design, what it's doing is it's picking up sound from the front and the sides, but not really from the back, which is exactly what you want. How am I doing? Am I still being heard? We're still good. We are at 200 feet. We're at 200 feet. So far, we've done 200 at least. So you want to make sure you have a cardioid microphone at a minimal. Electric Voice also makes a super cardioid. Super cardioid, what it, that's going to do is open it up a little bit in the front. Doesn't have as good exterior filtering, but it will actually give you a bit of an increase if you're very, very directional with the way you speak. So many people will use the ND86 version of this, which is a super cardioid version. Can I still be heard? We're still good. We're still good. And right now we're at 317 feet. So we're going to stop here. We're already past the point of what you're going to see in this price range. 
Let's see how far we can go though, right? All right, 317 feet, let's shoot for four. Let's shoot for four. I'm gonna turn around a little bit so you guys can get the best view. Uh, just kidding. Um, but I'm actually getting dizzy. So we're gonna keep walking here at 350. Another thing I wanna to talk to you about is, what is the difference between a dynamic and a condenser microphone? So this is a dynamic microphone. It's really gonna be designed for public address, vocalists, musicians, in live situations, right? Where there's other people in the room where you don't have an environment that you can control. Not as good sound quality, believe it or not, as a condenser. Can I still be heard? 419 feet, by the way. So the condenser, A, needs phantom power, right? It needs power to be heard. Works completely different than the dynamic microphone, but it will give you better sound quality. The problem is, is that it doesn't filter as well. It's gonna pick up sound from an omnidirectional pattern. And that's why you're gonna see it more in recording studios, more in situations where you have a controlled environment. All right, so I'm at 485 feet. Can you still hear me? Still hear me at 485 feet? We're gonna keep going. We're gonna see if we can hit 500 because I can't see anyone needing this for more than 500 feet. And right now, we're at 502 feet. Can you hear me? I can be heard. Ladies and gentlemen, we just eclipsed 500 feet with the EV RE3 system. Paddle antennas definitely did their job. I'm impressed. I think it's time to go back to the studio. What do you say? All right, everybody. So welcome back to the studio. I, I got to say that distance check was, uh, was pretty impressive. What do you think? So that's pretty much it on the ElectroVoice RE3 wireless system. I'm a huge fan of it. Uh, I got to talk to these guys over at EV. Uh, I think I may, may want to keep it. I got to be honest with you um, because I'm looking for a new wireless mic myself and, and geez, this thing is great. So if you have any questions on it, I'm happy to answer any questions for you. Of course, as always, drop your comments down below. Please subscribe to our channels if you're enjoying this content. We're going to continue to bring you more information and more reviews. And of course, give this video a like if you liked it. If you didn't like it, give it a dislike. I don't care. Do what you got to do because we're all about being unbiased and helping, helping you learn, grow, succeed, and, and really um, being as honest as we can about the gear. Nothing is going to check every box for every person, but our goal is to try to find people the best fit for their needs. And hey, if you don't need to spend $1,000 on something, why spend $1,000 when the $599 item will do the job? So anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed making it, because I know I did. And uh, as always, everyone, we'll see you on the flip side, all right? Thank you so much. Make sure to check us out at thedjsguru.com and at thedjsguru on all social media. Take care, everybody. We'll see you on the flip side. Bye-bye.